Mm. This is what Antigua and Barbuda has become. The sad thing about it, we have young people looking up to us and a fresh batch of youths transitioning to adulthood lost. If we just close our eyes, think, and are honest with ourselves, putting religion, political affiliation, and job safety aside, we know deep down that what is happening in this country is not right. No, this no, is no, not no. what we want for Antigua and Barbuda. No. So let me be clear, pellucidly clear, Gaston Brown must go. No, we need no. a different voice at the helm. He has had more than enough time to produce real life tangible results and has failed to do so. Mm. He needs to be sent back to the pack. We live in a nation that is deeply divided by politics. So I know many of you won't hear what a Barbudan at a UPP rally has to say. By now, you all will know that I love my country with all my heart, yes. and I am never afraid to say what I am feeling. Mm -hmm. If we want a government that cares about us, and our country's well-being, we must vote UPP. Yes! If we have any hope of making it through this difficult and trying time, we must elect Harold Lovell and his redeemed team. You see, I believe in Harold. Harold is a good man. He is an honorable man. He is a man of faith. He listens. He understands that no man is an island by himself. Thus, he is committed to mending bridges, creating partnerships, and relying on experts to guide us through this rough period. So my dear brothers and sisters, if we want a government that cares about businesses, reopening our schools safely, ensuring that no child is left behind, our healthcare workers respected and listened to, and just some compassion coming from the prime minister of our nation. We must vote for Harold. Yes, They're going to do everything in their power to keep us from having a government that looks like the people and acts in the best interests of the many. The people. So this is not the time to withhold your vote in protest no. or gamble with candidates and parties who have no chance of winning and who just don't have the numbers to no. win an election. We have to vote like we did in 2004. Oh. Yes, we have yes, to show yes. up and vote in numbers that cannot be ignored. Let this election be an election that sends a signal that your vote is not for sale. Yes. Dress comfortably. Put on your sneakers, yes. wear your mask, yes. social distance, and stay in line until your vote is securely casted. Yes. This election, make it your duty to vote. Walk with a friend, tell your neighbor, yes. and just let your vote send that resounding message yes. that resonates across borders.